Howdy all, Mugglax like Lives. I think it's time we play a little Ark Ragnarok. Alright. Uh, what are we going to do today, man? I, uh... Pretty sure... I do have a lot of obsidian. Let's, uh... Let's get this beastie turned on here. I think I must need metal. <clears throat> let's get some... Or is it cementing paste? I'll bet it's cementing paste I'm gonna need. I got plenty... Plenty of metal. I do have some cementing paste on me, though. I thought that was gunpowder for some reason, but that's actually cementing paste. Either way, how many polymers can I make? 44 polymers. Uh... That might be enough to make the chainsaw. That'd be cool. Sixty black pearls. How many black pearls am I up to now? I got a few more today. While I was out and about. I'm up to thirteen. Thirteen? That's a, that's a respectable number of black pearls. Uh... Yeah. I guess I'm going to need a few more than that. First, though, I want to see this, uh... Chainsaw in action. We're almost there. Oh, but then I don't have enough cementing paste. Never mind! Cementing paste it is! Okay, uh, if I were an eagle, there you are. I need some rocks, buddy. We gotta go get some rocks. Uh, so last night was our Monday D and D, uh, and uh, went pretty good. Uh, it went pretty good. Um, we uh. Made it to the bottom of the cave system we were in, and uh, got sent to teleport it to an island for a challenge, uh, which was fighting something, and uh, we uh, killed it. <laughs> but uh, on the way there, uh, so we got we got this wizard, which I talk about a lot. We got this wizard who uh, calls himself Support Class. And, um, which I, I don't have a problem, I guess, so much with him being the support class if he actually supported someone. But he doesn't support anybody. His idea of support class is to, uh, like last night, cast a couple of debilitation spells on the guy we're fighting. And, um, and then, uh, and then that's it. And so, that's, uh, that's what we had last night. He, uh, he tried to cast Blindness on, uh, on the guy we were fighting, and it failed. And then, uh, during that turn, I did over a hundred points of damage with my sword, and, uh... And then, on his next turn, he tried to cast another spell to, um, to, uh, debilitate called, uh, nope, I want, oh, yeah, 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 I know, I gotta get, uh, I gotta get some other stuff in here yet. No, I have the stuff in there, I need to put rocks in there, that's what I need to do. Gunpowder, gunpowder, rocks, rocks, rocks. Crafting, cementing paste. Okay. Oh, you know what? I should probably turn this beast off now. Instead of wasting my fuel. <laughs> hey, but. Oh, no. I'm almost out of chitin. Hey, buddy. Uh, and so, uh, one of the things that I keep requesting he get 
is this spell called Haste. Uh, because he's a support wizard, right? And, uh... And so he, uh... He refuses to get it because it does not allow him to cast more spells. That is what he told me. There's no point in that spell because it does not work on my spells. I'm like, yeah, but it gives me more armor, makes me move faster, and lets me attack more. And let's face it, I do the most damage in the group. Uh, so... I feel like... It might be something you would want to invest in as, your words, the support class. Uh, you might want to support the other players. I think he wants to be crowd control, which is a different animal, and he doesn't do it right. Um, occasionally, occasionally he does, but um, like last night, you don't... You don't crowd control a single target. Uh, it's being hit, uh, so you can't you can't put it to sleep. Uh, a lot of things. Uh, you know what I'm putting my points into on here. That's right. All future levels. All future levels are going to torp torp torpidity, fortitude. Torpidity is a totally different thing. I knew that didn't sound right saying it. Torpidity is, uh, whether or not you're asleep. Whether you're exhausted. Torpid. Um. But, uh. So we're. So he refuses to get haste. And he's, he's refused for several levels now to get haste. Because he doesn't see how it's beneficial. So we're going along. And, uh. And so one of the things we had to do. I'll admit. He was extremely beneficial in the first part of our thing last night, and uh, he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. Uh, we had to argue for a long time, but we had to. We were going to be teleported in the middle of the ocean, and part of the contest was that we had. It was you know contest as in we had to complete this thing, not contest as in we were competing against other people, um, and. Uh, we had 30 minutes to do it in, the the thing told us. And, um... So not only did we have 30 minutes to do it in, but we were going to get dropped off in the middle of the ocean, and we had to make it to land, um, before... and kill the thing before time ran out. And so... We figured out a way for, uh... to be able to, uh, throw... several... Uh, people using two, two flight spells. And then he just hemmed and hawed and tried not to, tried not to cast the flight. If I do that, then I won't have any, any polymorph for the fight. Because he used it one time, uh, in a fight. And, uh, uh we're like, yeah, but, uh, if you don't do it, then we don't get there at all. I don't, I don't know, understand why this is an argument. This, this is our only plan. You don't get to have Polymorph for the fight. Uh, I'm sorry. That's just the way it works out. Uh, and so he's, like, trying to cast something that only moves 20 feet a turn when everybody's going to be moving at 60 feet a turn to try and get away from using his two... or his one fourth-level spell and... We're like, dude, we gotta have this, all right? You're the wizard. You've got the wizard spells. We gotta have this. We don't know any other way to get there. Like maybe there was another way, but we we couldn't figure it out. And uh, so he finally does. And then while we're flying, uh, we uh, we lose. Did I? We lose uh, uh, handholds on uh, one of the people, and they fall. And, uh, so he decides that he's in trouble because he's with me, and I'm going to try and grab the guy who just fell. And so he decides he had better, he had better, uh, 
go ahead and um, do something about it. And so the thing he decided, I assume this takes fuel. Um, I think all my gasoline is currently upstairs in my generator. Can I... Uh, split... Split me off like five, I guess. Uh, hey, you know what? Is there, is there wind here? No, uh, I don't think there's enough. I forget what the threshold for wind is in this game. Um, I know there's a threshold on how much wind there is for the windmill to work. Uh, okay, so I've got, I've got fuel. Does this thing just, like, reload? It did. Okay, I gotta fly out and find something. First, I'm gonna go to a tree, see how this does on a tree. I've never had the chainsaw before. Uh, and then I'll probably go find a creature, and we'll see how it works on a creature. Um, but, uh, so we're flying along, and he hands me a potion of speed. So, potion of speed does not mean you move faster, necessarily. A potion of speed is the potion version of the spell Haste. He's had this in his bag for a long time now. He won't use it because it doesn't help him with spells. But he also didn't let anybody else have it either. And, uh... I'm just like, seriously, do you know how many battles we almost died in that I could have dumped that down my gullet and gotten extra defense and more attacks? So I used it last night. Um, it was awesome. Oh, this is awesome too. Wow. Like, wow. Like, this is insane. Obviously I can't carry this much stuff, but look at those numbers. <laughs> How much do I weigh? 1,684 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right. So, yeah. Uh, this is totally... Totally the tool if you want to build one of those uh, tree things <laughs> that take like 1,200 wood. This is the tool for it. Uh, I think those have got to be done in redwoods, though. So Now I need to find a creature. Uh, so I'm like, oh, man, seriously... Uh, why would you carry around something you know you're not going to use when other people have been asking for it? Like, mm. So, our DM uh, said uh, he actually... Oh, he, he thought it was hilarious because, you know, that guy never wants to... It, it's not that he doesn't do useful things, it's that he won't do useful things that help me. Right? Like, and I don't mean like I'm asking for stuff all the time. I mean like, when we first started the game, uh, my character is a human, so they can't see in the dark. And so he could get dark vision, which would let me see in the dark for eight hours. And his option was no. <laughs> okay, all right.
You know, I was out of hide, so this is helpful. I need something bigger than a dodo, though. Hey, buddy, you want to land so I can chop you up with this chainsaw? You know you want to be chopped up with a chainsaw. You know you do. Oh. Holy crap. Do you see how much chitin I got off of that guy? That was insane. Okay. This is now my new favorite tool. Uh, it's the tool you use to get things. Does it wear on rocks? I need a rock. I assume it does, right? I mean, my my axe works on rocks. Oh, well, it didn't quite kill that guy very fast. But you know, it's not... I should make a dummy. I should make a dummy. Yes. Uh... Dum... What is that called? Oh, you know, I gotta learn it. Dummy. Dummy. Takes... Fetch and fiber. I do not have the fiber for this. Uh, let me go unload some of this stuff. Uh, I know I have the thatch. I don't have the fiber, though. I I just used up most of my remaining fiber and hide making the saddle for my Argentavis. So I am quite aware that I do not have those supplies. Uh... I need you to make me some fuel. This piece is like I left in here. No, oh, you can't even take that. Never mind. You can though. Okay, uh, fiber, right. Let me go get some fiber. Um, so, so then we get to the store, or no, then we get to town, and in the one town, uh, I kind of own an inn at this point, and so we're at the inn, and I had requested a manager for my inn, and so... We had not been introduced to the manager yet, and so I wanted to check that out um, just to see what my DM needed me to turn in for, like, money to get the inn going or whatever. And so the wizard, he's like, I'm going to go shopping. And uh, we're like, all right. I'm like, well, while you're there, could you check to see if they have any of those speed potions? And he says, yeah, yeah, I will definitely, I will definitely do that. And, uh, and so then he goes to the store, and it's not like we're not sitting at the same table. Like, I can't hear him. But if you're not there, you're not supposed to talk to him. Uh, and so I'm not there, and, uh, oh, no, now I need, I need hide and wood. The two things I got rid of. And uh, he does all his stuff at the shopping, and he doesn't—he doesn't ask for—he doesn't ask about the speed potions. And I'm thinking, oh well, he just—he forgot. Uh, you know, it's not—it's not a super big deal. Uh, I just, you know, I wanted some. He forgot. It's all right. Uh, and so he gets back, uh, or you know, his character gets back, and I'm like, so do they have any of those speed potions? And he's like, you know, I decided that uh, she probably didn't have any for sale, so I didn't want to bother asking her. Uh, because the, the guy who sells potions in this town, as you know, died during a coup that we helped overthrow. 
and uh, so I didn't think it was worth it to ask her. But you don't know. Well, she didn't have them before. Yeah, but you don't know. Like, she could have them now, but you don't know. Well, yeah, but you didn't ask. She, she probably doesn't have them, but you didn't ask. You said you'd ask for me, and then you didn't ask. Yeah, but, you know, I, she didn't have them before. She just had regular heal potions before. But you didn't ask. So? Yeah, exactly. Uh... Alright, so we get a 22... A 41 DPS on the sickle. Oh, I'm starving. Oh wow, the sword is a lot more damaging than it was before. Uh, I remember the first time I used these dummies, uh, the uh, sickle and the sword were almost identical. What about this? Yeah, this is not good. What about this? 28. This was... 22. This was... 50. 41. So, 41 for this. So, I mean, that is... Okay. Forty-eight. So not bad. Not bad. Uh, definitely, definitely not as good as a sword, though, for damage. So probably be sticking with that. Uh, oh man, there was something else I was gonna talk about. Oh, and then, uh, and then uh, uh, we. Uh, like, every character I play with in D&D &D is all going up their level this week. Or maybe. Um, uh, I guess we won't be playing D&D &D on Sunday like I thought, so they won't be going up their level this week. So, next week. Uh, but the other the other three characters I play going up their levels. And uh, two of those are going up their levels under the wizard as our DM. And so he sends us this message that we have to have everything everything ready to go because we're going to level up during the game. And uh, that's what he told us on Sunday. So a new book came out with new stuff. I need one of these. I keep f almost freezing to death. Uh, and so I need to get an air conditioner, at least one in this place, to stop me from freezing to death all the time. Uh, air conditioner. Okay, so we need 15 electronics, it says. Crafting... Fifteen. That'd be cool if we can get through here without running out of other stuff. It does look like that's possibly going to be the case. Looking a little... Nope, nope, we should be good. We should be good. Yeah, it's only taking one per on the metal ingots. Nice. We'll get one of these put in. Nope, shoot. And now there's no gas to turn it back on. That was that was smart of me. That was smart of me. I hope that went in my inventory. I didn't finish, right? No. Oh no. I completely I screwed it right up. I accidentally turned that off early and it destroyed everything. Look at that. I got nothing. I've got I I just destroyed 15 electronics. 
All that metal. Dang it. Can I please have 15 more of these? Um, and so today, uh, because of the new book, I'm like, hey, can we swap out for some of the new spells that are in the new book? And uh, because oh, I wasted polymers, and those things are rare for me. Um, and he's like, what are you swapping out? And I'm like, well... You know, they got a couple of new ones that are better than the old ones I got. And he's like, well, I wouldn't take that one. That one. You really want to take these other ones. You want to keep these old ones. I'm like, no, no. Look, my character, dude. My character. Uh, you know. How about you just say yes or no so I know. And, uh. And then we'll call it good there. Um, I don't. I don't need what you think I should or should not have on my character, it's my character. Oh, you know would be sweet is if you could hang these from the ceiling. Uh, I'm pretty sure this has got to attach to the electricity. Right? I'm fairly sure this has got a hook to the electricity. Can I squeeze it in here? Oh, it says it's powered. <laughs> you think I'll work with all my open windows? This is this is like in this house, man. All right, the next thing I want to look at building. What did I need for that uh, uh, harpoon gun? Harpoon. Why is that not on my list of things I can make? Har. Harpoon launcher. Cementing paste, fiber high, metal ingots, obsidian, polymer, and wood, and it's created at the smithy. That's why it's not on my list. So I need 50 obsidian and 30 polymers. So that's 110 polymers. I am, or 150, um, 110. There we go. 110 obsidian I'm going to need. Oh, hey, you know what? Not the button to crouch. Also, my Argentavis is not out here. Do I have my inventory? Uh, a lot of stuff. Alright. Okay. You take this. Let me... Grab these back, and let's do that. All right, how are you doing? Man, you know, it still does not touch the spark powder I put in here. Um, okay, so we'll wait for this to get done, and then, uh, and then we'll get headed out. But yeah, so then today I'm like, uh, you know, well, these are the, you know, this is what I'd like to change if possible, and, and from the new book, and he's like, everything, everything is viable, he says to me. Uh, the other day. Everything is viable except for this one thing. And so I know I have to ask before we get there, because you're supposed to. He's your DM. And so you got to find out if it's okay with his rules. And so I'm like, can we swap out cantrips with the new cantrips that just came out? 
Because you can't do that normally. You can't swap a cantrip after you've learned it without, you know, getting permission, basically, because it's against the rules. And so I'm like, hey, can, can we do that? And he's like, <clears throat> do you need more time? Do you need more time to get ready for your level up? I've been waiting four weeks for this level up, dude. I do not need more time. You've already wasted enough of my time by not giving me XP for two weeks and giving me, like, 500 the week before that. No, he gave me 1,000 the week before that. 500 the week before that. And I've probably earned close to 20,000 in the last... I haven't earned 20,000, but I'll bet I've earned, like, 5. I'll bet I've earned 5,000 XP. He's going to give me, like, 200. That's what he's going to give us. Like, 200 XP. Uh, because he doesn't want us to level up too fast. And so we're just going to level up this week. That's that's what he said. You're you're gonna hit your next level, and uh, and so you need to have everything ready to go by Wednesday night when we play, and then and then he's like, uh, you need more time, because if you need more time, we can not level up Wednesday night. Dude, the whole point of the game is to level up. Why don't you want us to level up? I want my new abilities. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. With that, I am going to call it a day. So click like if you like, subscribe if you're catch the next one. I will talk to you later.